Okay, guys, it's March 27th. Usually that means in California, or at least a low elevation in California, we're going to be getting some nice spring weather. Well, that's just not the case this year. <laughs> so I get on the website. I got all these different uh, apps I look at. One of them is to figure out how cold the ocean is, what kind of wetsuit to wear. I get on the Scripps Pure Sea Temperature page, and look, it's 58. Now look at the, the range this time of year, 58 to 62. So it's on the cold end of the range. Just a few weeks ago, it was down to 55 degrees. I've never seen it so cold. And it's been cold in the whole state. And so check this out. I think I know why. Um, I'm putting two and two together. Look at this week in Lafayette, for instance. We should be getting nice spring weather right now. We're going to have this big storm come. Not only is it going to be a big storm, it's only going to be 51 degrees for a high uh, Tuesday, then 53 on Wednesday. And then look, we're not going to get, we'll barely get out of the 50s just for a couple days and just barely. And uh, I guess it warms up a little bit toward the end of the forecast. But this is how the whole winter has been. It's been just cold, 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 cold. And now I think I know, well, I'm kind of a, a uh, weather geek. And on this page here, we have sea temperatures. Let's see the sea temperatures here. Uh, they're in Celsius, so it's kind of hard to like translate. But anyway, you can kind of see what happens here. Uh, the uh, cold water comes down from the north. It's because the earth is turning and the water is trying not to. And the water comes across from Japan, hits Alaska, can't go anywhere, runs into the continent, forced downward, and uh, all the way down the coast, and of course down into Baja. So, and the reason it's warm over here is because that water is trapped in the Gulf of Mexico or the uh, Gulf of California. And so, but then you could go and look at the anomalies, which is even more interesting if I could jump right back on that right here. And we can see the anomalies, which is even more interesting. And it tells the story of why California is so darn cold this year. <laughs> look at this these are the anomalies this is like the negative one degree celsius it's like two or three degrees fahrenheit um and there's some patches this was actually worse not too long ago see negative two celsius negative two celsius uh all the blue is negative one and you can see that extends all the way from baja all the way up into Oregon. So we have this massive big pool of extra cold water off our coastline, and that's hugely dominating our, it's based, this year I basically call this winter the California mini ice age. It, like all of the coastal mountains I flew over, I'll put a link to a video I did. I flew from Oakland, did a U-turn, came through San Francisco, was taking some aerial photography, went right by, right over Carmel, and right over the central coast mountains. There's never snow there. I've never seen snow there. Um, and then uh, caught a little glimpse of mountains in LA with snow, then got cloudy. Didn't see any of these mountains in San Diego, but they had covered in snow. And right now, the Sierra, uh, the Southern Sierra has uh, almost 300% of annual snowfall total already, nearly 300%, three times more than it normally is. The Central Sierra has uh, about two to 2.5 times more than it usually has. And then the Northern Sierra has 1.5 to two times more than it, than it, 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 it uh, would have for the whole entire year. And the year is not even over yet because as I mentioned earlier, we're going to get uh, walloped by this storm here, 100%, 84%. That means we're gonna get a lot of precipitation in two days. 
and uh, it looks like the extended forecast, we will get a little bit of wet. Hopefully this is gonna be the end of it because we have, we have more than we need now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff. I will uh, put some links on this video in the description box. And um, if you're interested in all this geeky stuff that I am with weather and that sort of thing, then uh, you can have somewhere to go. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just chilling, trying to stay warm. He's trying to stay warm too? Yeah? That's Puffalump, he's trying to stay warm.